on this <laughs> on this beautiful Wednesday morning. God, it's a little bit overcast, but it's quite bright out there. But if it's going to rain, it's going to be the perfect day to stay indoors and do some beading. I love what I'm going to show you today. It's such a such a beautiful, very quick make as well. And we have got the perfect bundle for you to make 12 of these beautiful pendants. So, I'm going to turn you down, I'm going to take you over to the website, I'm going to show it to you, you can buy them separately, we've got a bundle, we've got everything for you today. So, um, let me know in the chat if you've got any questions, and please put a cue or a question in front of it, so I know it's for me, and uh, not like sort of a side conversation in the chat, so I can make sure that I pick up on it, and, um, and answer the, your question. So, how are we doing? I am going to share my screen for a sec and then we're going to pop over to the website. But now you know the drill. It's totallybeads.co.uk and you're going to go on there. <laughs> you either are going to go and click into categories and you go down into video tutorials or you're going to come over and here the Facebook tutorials is the second button from the top. It used to be at the top, but they changed it. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's there. You can click on that as well, which is going to take you into the category. Now, we do have hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. And um, going back <laughs> the last two years, we just have our, our anniversary last week. Going back the last two years, you can search them by bead, by date, by kind. Um, to, or, or by technique as well. So I'm just going to pop into, which one should I pop into? I'll pop into by the technique. And we got bead shrinking, beaded beads, brick stitch. So going back, we got hundreds and hundreds of tutorials for you to go back and have a look. And, you know, the materials list is there, everything. So you can make, make, make whatever your heart desire. Right. Okay. So today I'm going to showing you the Astera pendants. And I'm going to pop in here. Um, here, um, we have got a big bundle, which has got the biggest savings on there. Otherwise, you can buy the pendants individually. They're £2.49. I think that's quite good to make a little pendant. And they are hematite beads and crystals. And the crystals are premium bicones. So um, they are quite perfect to... Um, they, they're perfect little pendant to make. Right, okay, so I'm going to pop into the bundle and just show you the bundle. In the bundle, you get 12 different colors uh, all, to, all together. So you will be able to make 12 different pendants. And instead of 29.88, it's 13.99 today. So it's just a little over a pound pendant, but uh, but it's really, really, really good value. So, okay, I'm going to come back uh, to the main so I can see the color names. I'm going to turn you down on the mat and I am going to show you how how they look like in real life. So I'm going to come down and be going down on the mat. There we go. So we got all of these beautiful colors. Now the way how I have added together you have got the there is 12 different colors of hematite beads there and um, you can um, you know, if you go for the bundle, you can mix and match them in a way. You can do your own thing. You can change the crystals or the seed beads on the top. It's just really how when I went through and, and added the colors together, that it will, it would have, it was like for me the the best match really. And you know me, I go backwards and forwards. <laughs> I put them together, then take them apart and put them together all the colorways to have the best possible match. Right. Okay. So right at the top here, we got amber teal. Then next door to it, we got cerise gold. This is, be I mean, let me just, I'm going to lift it up and show it to you because they, they are so, so nice. I love, I love how the colors come together because like this one, the amber teal, you know, along you've got the beautiful teal in there, but you do have got like bronzes and golds is coming through from the, the hematite beads themselves. Next one is the cerise gold again you got this beautiful magenta pink with golds coming through as well from the hematite so it's really a beautiful color to play with next one i love this is like you know i like my purples and i like my blues and this is one of my favorite violet forest again we got a, this beautiful purple in there but from the hematite you got your those teals and purples and all sorts of colors coming through Right, next one is this one, is the Sangria. 
I love it's it's like a, a aubergine wine red beautiful beautiful amethystic color as well next one up <laughs> is the charcoal shadow so we have it's sort of got black crystals but gray tones all around it so this will go with black but also will go with grays and other colors as well next up is the honey bronze i love how leanne names these mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she's just sitting on the other side of the desk yeah. here um the a beautiful beautiful sort of light brown bronzy color perfect for the summer next one up is the hazelnut pecan this is has got the coffee color hematite in there and the champagne crystals with the black diamond seed beads i really really do love that one as well um the, this is again is such a good color to have because it kind of like goes with everything right next up is the chiffon so this has i love i do love this color of um hematite beads they're not they're not quite silver but they're not quite gold either so they're in between and um the seed beads are like um like a buttermilky color and the crystals are your chiffon lemon chiffon color as well beautiful beautiful colorway as well next one is the acrylic arctic silver acrylic i can't read now leanne yeah. <laughs> arctic silver so this one is again goes with everything this is more like a silver silver color and i and the seed beads i added to this one is sort of a lighter color so brighten it up and i love how the pattern works out because on especially on this one you can really see the star in the middle next one is the ice blue perfect again um for me i love wearing jeans and all sorts of sort of navies and blues so something like this because it's a lighter blue but it has got like a hint of navy in it with the crystals you can wear it with navy but you can also wear it with jeans and all sorts of bits of pieces and last but not pink not not least is the persian pink so this one is of quite a soft pink but you do have like greens and tills coming through um from the hem hematite itself so that's that's our 12 color white now you, are, <laughs> you need to tell me which color to demo with i got all of them here you know me <laughs> um right so i'm just going to quickly come back and say hello to you all and then we're going to start the demo it's quite a quick make so it's not going to take us long we might even get done two today um dulcie good morning good morning rachel i hope you are she said i placed my order on the bundle beautiful colors oh thank you um Good morning, Judith. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, Celia. Sue is here. Um, she's saying, watching this on break for my making favorite boxes for my son's wedding on Saturday. Oh, bless you. Well, happy, happy wedding. What do you say? Like, happy wedding? Do you say happy wedding? Um, for somebody who's getting married, uh, congratulations. Or I'm not really sure what you're supposed to say beforehand. <laughs> you need to tell me in the chat. Um, morning, Camille. Uh, any good morning. Lucy popped the link in for the bundle and, and the... Uh, separate ones will be on there as well so if you just fancy making one then you can just make one karen good morning jackie good morning lucy <laughs> oh wow what a lovely bundle <laughs> jitty good morning trish good morning dawn good morning debbie's here lisa Bargaining bundle from friday just arrived we'll be patient and wait until the live is over oh bless you you're gonna love it you're really gonna love it they've been working really hard in the warehouse to send it all out so many gorgeous colors i love you forgot to show the gold oh <laughs> oh we can't leave the gold out camille we can't leave the gold out let me show the gold so this one is a gold gold and i and the colors have put it together really wanted to have a gold gold color so there's no other colors coming through the whole of the pendant is gold but you can still see the the star on there and the crystals it just really going so some of the colors i tried to be more sort of adventurous and some of the other colors are tried to be like the gold or the aubergine kind of like sort of just to blend in um as well sorry i can't i can't i can't <laughs> gold topaz um Leanne called this one. I can't believe I forgot the gold. Lucy's saying the pink one is her favorite. Of course, it's the pink one for Lucy. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Charlotte. Nice to see you here. <laughs> Kim is saying very pretty. Good morning, 
Kitty and everyone else. Helen is saying welcome to good morning to everyone. Victoria is saying good morning. Bernie, Bernie nice to see you here. Lovely. Um, Sheila, good morning. So the sun was shining yesterday. Snowing. What? I can't believe that. Sheila is saying it's snowing. <laughs> Come on out. I'm, bye, everybody. I'm going in the car and going to see the snow. Um, Mina, good morning. Mary's here. Good morning, Rachel. Rachel just received the anniversary bundle, bundle as well. Um, she says it's a happy post. Lucy's asking, where is the postman? Right, Silly's saying aubergine. Morning, mom, bash, pool, um, Diana is saying. Right, okay, so I need you to tell me what color do you want me to demo with? Because I got all of them here. I think probably maybe we'd be better off doing something where the colors are kind of like... Um, maybe a multicolor one where the colors the seed bead colors are stand out from the from the the, the beads the, the hematite beads themselves so i'm going to take the gold out of the equation i think the aubergine is going to come out of the equation because you're not really going to see it uh light up um yeah i think that's quite dark as well um so i think that will be Run off with your bead order. I mean, it's saying that's one that's more than you see. Blue. Blue. Be the blue show up. I think that's quite pale as well. Teal will show up quite well. I think the purple would show up quite well. Um, this one, the silver actually will go up quite sharp. It's quite a pale color, but it will show up quite well. Sheila's saying teal. I think the teal will show up best. Um, this one is all right as well. Sheila's saying purple. Maybe the pink is a bit pale as well, so maybe we will have to go with the teal. Teal is one of my favorite colors, so <laughs> thank you. Currently saying purple. Everybody's more, more people saying purple. Okay, so now I'm gonna put these two on the side. It's down to the purple and the teal. Teal is a second choice. Teal is saying yellow and blue mix. Oh yeah, Victoria. Actually, we could mix two colors together because I got the bundle here. So that we could do that as well. We could do anything really. Um so teal, purple, teal, I'm just sort of trying to count it backwards, purple, purple, so there's four purple, five purple, six purple, I think the purple is winning, teal, right, Chiffon Camille is saying, I don't think that's going to show up that well, I think we're going to go with the purple. Teal, then, 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 when I sing purple, you sing more teal, so it's not, it's not, not fair. Purple, we're gonna, we're gonna go with the purple, that's it. Teal and, oh, Diane, I think <laughs> that you are, maybe let's do that. So, I'm gonna use the, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use the hematite from the purple. I'm gonna use the seed beads from the teal. And I'm going to use the crystals from the purple. How about that? Are are, are we happy with that? So we're gonna we're gonna mix the two together. Um, I think that's gonna look actually really good. So I am just gonna grab my beads out here and grab a needle and thread and get started. So we're gonna use the purple hematite. Then we're going to use the seed beads from the till. So I'm getting those out and I'm going to use the crystals from the purple. <laughs> great mix. Sounds great, Celia is saying. Yeah, we got there in the end. You know, sometimes you just have to, you just have to kind of like mix things up. Right, okay, so I'm just getting my beads out. I'm going to get a needle and thread and we're going to... <laughs> Diana, love you. Just who's a clever girl then? <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be still here. We're still here, like <laughs> half past 11, trying to decide what color we're going to use. Right, I'm just grabbing the thread. So I'm going to match the thread, not to not to my beads, but to the seed beads, because that's like kind of where you're going to see it more, see it the most. So we're gonna, I'm going to grab a needle. I'm going to treat myself to a new needle. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Nice to see you here. And... We're going to get started. Right, very, very easy pattern. There will be a PDF with the kit. So if you don't remember it right now, or if you don't, don't, if you 
doing something else and I'll be watching me half <laughs> with half eye, well, once a while, but two, um, there will be instructions coming with the kids as well. Right, so I'm going to start off by, I'm going to, first of all, pick up my hematite beads. I'm going to just bring this in, hematite beads, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So we will be more closer. The hematite beads and seed beads, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick up one hematite, one seed, one hematite, one seed, one hematite, one seed, until I have got seven of them on my thread all the way down. Just keep going, just picking them up until you have seven. That's five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I started with a hematite, so I'm going to finish with a seed bead. Good morning, Elaine. And Lucy just popped the link in there again. So I'm going to go through all of these one more time. So I'm going to go from the tail end and I'm going to go through all of those beads one more time to form a nice and strong circle. Now I'm not going to knot my tail end and my working end together because I don't want, but one, I don't want my base circle here to tighten up too much so I can't go to the beads anymore. And two, I don't want the knot to seep into any of the holes of the beads so I won't, wouldn't be able to go through the beads anymore. So I went all the way around. I'm gonna just come through well, let's come to the first two. So the first hematite, seed bead hematite to work away from my tail. So I can, let me just take more in there. I'm just going to wrap the tail end on my finger so I can hold this nice and tight. Just a couple of beads away from my tail. I'm going to take this out from behind. So now we're going to start adding our loops on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up nine seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've picked up nine beads. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump back a bead and I'm going to come through this bead. So I'm exiting at the top. I'm going to come through the hematite bead from the back and in the same time I'm going to go ahead and go through the seed bead and the hematite bead in front of me so I will be in position to add the next lot. So I'm just going to go and pull this up. So I just created a little loop around those beads. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up eight seed beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to borrow one bead from the previous loop. So I'm going to go down towards the circle on the very last bead on the previous loop. And then I'm going to look straight, come into the hematite bead. Let me just bring this up so you can see it better. Straight into the hematite bead, into the seed bead and the hematite bead in front of it. So I'm going down to the last bead from the previous circle. I'm ignoring the little one in the middle, um, hematite, seed bead hematite, and I'm going to pull this up. There we go. And then I'm going to repeat this five more times. So I'm going to be picking up eight seed beads. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and again, I'm going to go down into the last one, into the hematite, the seed bead in front of it, and the hematite in front of that and keep it nice and oh Ayla is saying hi kitty late to the party I forgot forgot it was Wednesday yes Ayla it's Wednesday all day today <laughs> what I'm going to do when you're in Hungary my memory won't cope with different times um, but the, the time is going to be exactly the same for you here it's only my time going to be changing so it's an hour later in Hungary um, Natalie is going to be on. Um, I think I'm doing one or two lives from Hungary. So we see how it's all, um, all going to turn out. I'm just hoping the internet connection is going to be good because last summer we had a couple of like when it cut out. But um, I need to I need to get it all sorted when I get. So I'm just keep picking up eight seed beads. 
size 11 seed beads and every single time I'm borrowing one bead from the loop before going to the hematite seed bead hematite pulling it tight and carrying on all the way one two three four one two three four borrowing that bead into the hematite seed bead next hematite right on the very last loop we do have oh, and i just got a little knot on my uh, thread so let me just pull that out on the very last loop what we're going to do we're going to connect the very first loop with the loop before so before i pick up my beads i need to go up into the very first bead on the very first loop and instead of eight i'm going to be picking up seven seed beads for this very last loop and i'm going to go down on the last bead on the last loop and just go through the hematite bead here and now i have even loops on top of every single hematite beads and all of those all of those loops are joined by one bead at the bottom right we got a question here jenny's saying my problem making pendants they run out floppy I have used floor wax in the past, but can you recommend something? So for to make, like for me, when I made the pendant and we're going to do this later on when, uh, um, when we get to that stage, you just need to keep going round and round and round with the thread to, to stiffen it up and try to hold a somewhat tight tension. So next step, we're going to come into the middle and we're going to add our crystals. So I'm going to go up into the loop and I want to come out of the fifth seed beads so i'm going to go through one two three four five beads i'm going to come to the fifth seed beads and i'm just simply going to pick up a crystal and then i'm going to go into the fifth seed bead on the next loop but i'm counting so either the fourth one if you don't get don't count the one which is together but if you do count that that one then it's the fifth one so one two three four five it's the middle seed bead we're always going through and i'm going to go ahead oh, and do that all the way around one two three four three four five that's the one I'm gonna do that all the way around now this is quite crucial to get this one right because if you're one bead off to either direction then your star at the front is going to be uneven There we go. I'm going to keep going around. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm keep adding the crystals. One, two, three, four, five. In between those middle beads on the loop. Come on. Squeeze the needle in between the beads. Just going to keep going around until I get all the way around. Five. And the last one, I'm going into the bead just there. So now I'm going to go through the crystal and the next seed. And actually, I'm going to run around probably once all the way around in the middle just to tighten this middle up but when i'm going around and pulling this tighter and tighter you always want to pull tighter when you're coming out of the seed bead never pull tight or, or try to pull really tight when you're coming out of a crystal because the edge of the crystal can cut um, your thread if it's sometimes it can have a little bit shorter one this looks like our beaded beads in a bead club well lucy the same techniques can do so many different things. It just like you're using different number of beads or different size of beads and you can make all sorts of different things with it. I think we start with, with the um, beaded bead was six bead. Was it six bead we started with? I'm not sure. Was this? I can't remember. We've done so many of them. We've done so many projects. We've done so many things in the Beat Club as well. And I need to show you what we're doing this week because it's absolutely, I loved it. We just did, um, Liam, actually, 
if you get me the flower, hun. Oh, don't. I just got a little knot, and I don't want this knot. There we go. Pulling this tight. Just uh, uh, passing another one as well, please. Mm -hmm. And just pass it. I'm going to show you what we did in a bit of this. I absolutely love it. I do like making jewelry, but I love making home decor and I love making just a necklace. Love making all sorts of different bits with beads, what you can then use as a decoration. And we did a beaded dahlia. Right, I think I haven't really counted like how, how many, <laughs> how many I've gone through, but I must have gone all the way around. Oh, Camille is saying coffee. Thanks, Camille. <laughs> this could be a Christmas pendant, absolutely. And to be honest, like with the same technique, you could have eight beads. You could have start with six beads. You could start with ten beads. It's like you know the the pattern is quite forgiving. Um, in in when you do something like this, Rachel saying I, I think it was six beads when we started in the uh, the bead club for the beaded beads. Right, okay, so um, um, went all the way around. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to make, tighten up the star around it. So we're going to make sure those beads sit straight. So I'm going to go up in the, to the next three beads towards the outer edge of the pendant. And then I'm going to come back in on the next three. But in the very first point, before I do that, I'm going to pick up two seed beads and then come back because this two seed beads when we come all the way around is going to be our anchor beads for our bell so i went down the next three i'm not going to go into that single one instead i'm going to turn my direction and i'm going to come up through the next three just like that and then go down on the next three and go up through the next three Go down again and go all the way around. Make sure your thread doesn't wrap, wrap around. Lucy Sink amazes me. How does it look different? Absolutely. Just by, like, if I change the crystals here for a larger crystal, it would look completely different again. If I change the seed beads to a different size, if I change the size of the loop, it will be different as well. So it's just kind of like, playing with those little the little amounts in your pendant the other good thing that we're adding the anchor beads there when we start going around that we will know when we go all the way around and especially for me so don't forget that the bundle is on an amazing offer it's 13.99 down from 29.88 and you're going to be making 12 pendants with it. So this could be little prezzies for colleagues, friends, family. Or <laughs> you could keep it all yourself and you would have a pendant for every single thing you have in your wardrobe. You would have a pendant to match. Right, I'm all the way around. I'm going to go up into this tray here. And... up through the fourth one on the top which is the two we added so i'm going all the way up there can i zoom in a little bit more so you can see it a bit more there we go oh mercy saying these are going to be presents from a mom's group mom's oh that's so nice i um, mean it's saying love this pendant can we give me liking as well this thing i was going to be good but i think i might have to pop this bundle in my basket can you do a star on the back so it's double sided? You could do. You could absolutely do a star on the other side as well. But like if I show it to you from the sideways, can you see like it's kind of like, well, it doesn't stick out too much, but it does. But you can do. You can, you can be make it two sided, but you're never really going to see the back, back of it um, at all because you wear it towards the front. <laughs> Mercy Singh, two bundle just magically popped into my card. 
Oh, bless. Right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to start the bell. And we're going to do herringbone stitch. A two bead herringbone stitch for the bell. Because we could do all sorts of different things. But I think a two bead herringbone stitch is such a beautiful stitch for a, a bell. That, um, it's probably one of my favorite ones to do. So as I'm coming out on the right hand side here, I'm, I'm going out towards the top. I'm going to pick up two seed beads. And then I'm going to come down one bead, only one bead, on the left hand side towards the middle of the pendant and pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm going to go up two beads on the right hand side. So I'm jumping right across, I'm going up two beads and I'm going to repeat the process over and over again. So I'm going to pick up two seed beads. I'm going to go down one bead on the left hand side and then I'm going to come up two beads on the right hand side and that's what we're going to be doing and that's how you're going to be growing like a little strip of beads as you go to the back. I want to add like 15 but it depending on how big you want your your bell because it and depending what you want to wear because sometimes you might want to have a smaller bear if you just want to wear it on like on a skinny necklace sometimes if you want to wear it on something more chunky then you might want a um a larger bell so it's really up to you you can make it to the size you you want it to be 100 percent. and this is the beauty of making you all beads your jewelry or everything that you do make it to the, you cater it to you the size you 100% want it to there we go <laughs> then you think i'm thinking of christmas tree decoration and lucy saying postman is here oh bless i'm gonna keep on going and um keep adding two beads at a time and every single time I add, I pick up two beads, I come down one on the left hand side and go up two on the right hand side. And I'm just going to keep growing and growing this strip. Make sure your thread doesn't get caught up on anything as you're doing it. And I want to have probably about 15 beads. Oh, I got caught with the tail. I have about 15 beads in my row so I'm counting I'm not counting the three at the bottom but I'm going to count from here one two three four five six seven eight nine and then I need to add a few more twisted herringbone in the same color beads absolutely so if you um I love herringbone necklaces. Um, Leanne, can you pass me the herringbone necklace? <laughs> it's a good thing that Leanne is here today. And I'll show you what um, a, a Tina just had. And um, I'll just there underneath there. And if you got a tealy color one, that would be perfect. Um, I don't think that's exactly the same, but I think that will do. So you can do a four bead um, tubular herringbone and we have done lives on that as well. So you could go back on the website and check out the live and um, and learn that stitch. That's only using size 11. Well, you could do it any size, but it was using size 11 seed beads and it would be the perfect necklace, the perfect match for your necklace. So what I do love doing and, and this one... Not exactly. I'll actually pass me another couple so I can show them off. Plus, pass me all of them, Leanne. The Just pass me all of them. <laughs> She's giving me one. Um, I do love to match the seed beads while using a pendant to the seed beads what I use in the herringbone necklace. And I'm just quickly need to count this again because I am keep talking and I'm sure I got 15 now. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 we got 15 exactly so we're going to turn that bail the, turn that strip of beads into the bail oh mercy saying my husband went out and bought a beautiful sports car without telling me so let me buy whatever the heck i want mm -hmm. i do love the car though oh bless i bet i bet you do um i, I, I love a nice car as well actually i'm not i'm not really bothered about cars as long as you get to me a to b but um 
I, I appreciate the design of, of, of certain cars, if you if you know what I mean. And, and sometimes, like, you know, they, they come up with all sorts of different clever colors and, and different bits of these, bit different, um, you know, the shapes. Like, I, I am quite amazed, like, how the shape of, like, if you just th think about one particular car, um, how the shape of the car changes over the year as they bring out new and new models. Um, never feel guilty spoiling yourself buying pretty beads. Yeah, absolutely not. You don't feel guilty at all. <laughs> I really enjoy this project type of project. I, I love doing the star pendant recently. Absolutely twisted herringbone in the same color beads. So we are, let me just turn this in into the bell and then I'll show you the twisted herringbone um, necklaces. So you can have, um, you can have a look. Just taking a sip of my coffee, right? So we got a strip of beads, and we're going to turn this into a pendant. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn this around, and you just need to make sure you don't twist this because it won't be able to turn around anymore. So as I'm my exiting on the left hand side as I turned it out, I want to go through this bead, the single bead in between the two hematite beads. I'm exiting on the left, so I'm going to come from the left. To the right, I'm gonna pull that over and just gonna pull this into, and there we go, we got our bail. But it's only connected on the left hand side. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna come up on the right hand side and I'm gonna go through the whole of the bail going all the way to the front just to. Strengthen this. I'm going to go up and down through the bill a couple of times. Just pulling it tight and just keep going to the front. When I get to the front, I'm going to go into the star itself and I'm going to run around the star. So now, another time. We're going to go and straighten those beads up because the more you go around this star shape, the more straighter your beads are going to sit. You do, we're using super long size D here, but I can go probably maybe another two or three times. I can go around the pendant. And what I'm doing is filling up the hole of the beads with the thread puffs. And every single time you're filling it up, it will sit straighter and straighter on the front. So I'm just going to whiz around all the way. There we go, going up. There we go. Let me know in the comments if you thought this is harder or easier or just about the same, what you thought, how we're going to be making it. I'd love to know. Or, or also as well, if you have done anything similar before, I'd love to know as well. Right, I'm back to where my bail is. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go through all the way to the back and back to the front. So I'm going through the bail again. And more you go through any of the beads, especially the bail as well, it will sit straighter and straighter as you go along. I have added some cream <laughs> onto my hand just before I started. So, I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way to the back. Oh, Debbie Sink Postman just arrived. How exciting. I love that. When I order something in the post and then it comes, it's just so, so exciting. Currently, Christopher is waiting for something for Amazon to come. Bless him. Yesterday... <laughs> Yesterday, he asked me about 10 times, like, are you sure it's not coming today? Are you sure it's not coming? I was like, no, it's going to come tomorrow. And then he was like, but please look out for the postman, please. <laughs> it was so, it's so exciting. Right, I'm all the way to the back. I went through that bead in between the two hematite beads. And I'm once again, I'm going to go all the way to the front. Tightening the beads up, the bail up more and more as I go and make those beads to sit really nice and straight. 
They'll be saying lots of beads. <laughs> be the postman. <laughs> You're gonna have fun. So much fun. Like, I, I have to confess. <laughs> I confessed to the ladies yesterday in the bead club that, um, obviously, on Sunday, I did uh, live and I brought home some of the bundles. <laughs> and then um, I didn't take the crystal ones back. They stayed. <laughs> so I, 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 I kept them. I kept one of each. <laughs> so there is a uh, one, two use them do a few bits of pieces with it right going down there we go right um i'm now at the point that i'm pretty much finished my thread paths and pretty much finished everything what i needed to do so i'm just gonna go around or start to go around the star itself again and you don't really not because you've been backwards and forwards so many times after you actually finished adding your beads you don't really need to knot like i don't add a knot if you want to you can add a half hitch knot somewhere to secure your thread down but by going through a few beads and properly that's enough going to a few beads you can cut your thread off because it will be secure enough then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add the needle to my tail end so and i'm going to tighten the main beads up a little bit so I'm just going to locate where my thread is coming out of and which bead is coming out. Is it coming out of the seed bead or is it coming out of the hematite beads? If it's coming out of the hematite beads, then I'm got hematite bead and I'm going to go towards the seed bead and I'm just going to keep going round. And I'm, as I'm going round, I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull my circle a little tighter. So this is why. It was great that we didn't knot it at the beginning because, and I can feel it as I'm pulling it tighter, the, the whole circle is tightening up. And at the beginning, it was a little bit looser. So we were very easily be able to go through the beads and they weren't too sort of stuck together. But now I can run around and just tighten it up and once I get back to the position where I was I'm gonna go into the star again <laughs> and just run around these seed beads just to again work or if if first if my my if I got too much thread and I can't actually physically push the needle through those beads anymore then what I do I turn to a different direction I would have turned a different direction and I would actually knot it um, but I think we are still good and there we go so we've been around this pendant a lot so it's it become really nice and solid and um, quite stiff as well so it's not going to so it's like but this is the this is uh, this is the only trick I guess to keep going around and round and tightening it up with your thread to make it nice and firm. Tina is saying love the color. So see, this one was we mixed two colors together. So we missed the purple and the teal because we couldn't decide what color we're gonna do. And I think if like let me just bring in those two pendants. I think if we then added the purple beads on the tail that would really work as well so it's so many different variations you could do with a bundle you don't have to use the colors exactly the same way how i i, I added them together oh lucy just opened her parcel she says just open my parcel wow just wow thank you so much kitty and total bits for love anniversary bundles oh bless you you're welcome all I'm really saying is started snowing here in Lancashire. It's not fair. I want snow. I haven't had snow this year. I love snow. <laughs> I really, really, really love snow. And Lorna is late joining. Good morning, Lorna. Once the video finished, you can watch back from the beginning. Right. Okay. So I'm um, all the way there. I'm actually quite safe. I'm just going to trim that off. And there we go. We have got dependent. Now, I'm going to show you the... 
the necklaces. So this is not exactly the same turquoise as this one, but this is the a four bead twisted. It's not going to show. Let me just bring this a four bead twisted herringbone necklace. And I like to do them with um, little toggle clasp at the end. So it would then actually have I got I got something there which is the same. Yep. So they would look perfect with our with your pendants. Let me just zoom out and I'm going to show you. This is not quite exactly the same color, but very, very similar. But for example, I do have a black diamond here and we do have a pendant with a black diamond. And if I add this on top, can, can you see that? That um, how good is that um, that look? Because it just brings it, it dresses up. So if I just want to wear the pendant on an everyday I don't know, <laughs> any, anywhere, every day, anywhere, then um, I could wear it on a chain. But the minute I put it on to something like this, which is matching the seed beads, it just looks really elegant. And it's and it's for the perf perfect, perfect, well, it's perfect anyway, anywhere to wear it at. Like what other colors have I got here? What I also got in the pen? I got so many colors, look. <laughs> I got many, many, many colors. Um, I love a herringbone chain. So one, one of my... One of my, I guess, go-to um, necklaces to, but well, you can make them in any color. That's not quite the same brown. Um, and even you can make in all sorts of different beads as well. But let me just show you all the different colors I have here made up. And it depending on what clothes you're wearing, you could change the pendant or you could change the color of the herringbone necklaces. There we go. Let me just bring this up. There is so many beautiful, beautiful different colors. So the 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 live and the instruction for this one is on the website. You need to go back and have a look. Um, a very very easy technique as well. So he's saying I like a three bead herringbone. That's that's uh, really good as well. And um, you can do six bead herringbone. You can do all sorts of different bits as well. Thank you so much for the stars, Charlotte. Really, really appreciated. Debbie saying my go-to necklace. Charlotte saying beautiful. Really lovely pendants. Love them. Love making that necklace. Right. Would you like to see what we did in the bead club yesterday? Because I, I really, I really love this one. I'm actually properly, I, I got an idea what I want to do with this. So let me know in the comments if you want me to show you what we did in the Beat Club yesterday. But I'm just quickly, until you let me know that. <laughs> I'm going to bring in um, all the different pendants, what you can make from the bundle. Or you can get them separately as well if you like. We got a whole array of colors here for you to um so you to work with, um, very beautiful. They 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 all they all very beautiful. I like sometimes something like this, which is, has got a simplicity to it, but it's it's like sort of it's nice and beautiful together. Yes, please, red beads club. Okay, everybody's saying yes, 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 please. So I'm just gonna pop this to the side. So we they're making a beaded dahlia, and this is um. It's all stitched, it's not wire work. Um, you can do all sorts of different colors of this ones. I have made this, and I'm gonna show you this necklace. I have made this necklace. <laughs> this was before Lucy was born. So very, very long time ago. And this one's got one right in the middle and they just sort of filled it up with other beads and other uh, other beaded beads. But it's really a beautiful technique to, to do. This one's made it a little bit bigger, but I'm... Um, you can do all sorts of stuff. So you could put it on a hair clip. You could put it on all sorts of things. So this is what we're doing. And we're doing it um, tomorrow. Not tomorrow yet. Yeah? It's Wednesday today. I don't know what day is. Thursday. We're doing it tomorrow as well. So do check out. And Lucy, pop the link in there. Beat Club Online. Because every single week we're doing something um, new. And all sorts of different um, all sorts of different uh, projects are going on. And actually, Sarah uh, Millsop, she's back. She's going to be teaching there for a couple of weeks. While I'm in Hungary, she's going to be taking care of all of you. So do check out beatclub.online and have a look. You can sign up free for seven days. And then um, obviously then your membership will start after that. So you can just come and check it out. Um, so that's what we're doing tomorrow. 
Good morning, Mary. Um, right, so my lovelies, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I actually need to go and have some breakfast. I haven't eaten anything yet, and uh, I'm actually probably with brunch by now. And I'll see you. When do I see you? So there won't be creation station this Sunday because I'm gonna be sitting on the plane and going to Hungary. Um, I'll I'm trying to do one next Sunday. I will be, I got a, a live, I think the Wednesday after, which I am doing, but I haven't got the day right in front of me. But you will be seeing me popping up here and there in the next couple of weeks. Otherwise, I wish you a beautiful Easter. And I will see you back after Easter with some amazing projects. And um, keep on beading, keep on crafting, and I see you very, very soon.